All right, so we are back here on the Noobs Guide with episode two. And so we are starting here just to start this episode because I felt like there were some pertinent things that we should go over. First, it's a new day. Uh, it's Wednesday, not Tuesday anymore. So what you're going to want to do first, starting out every day, is to grab your loyalty login rewards. Those you can spend in the pearl shop here. If you go to loyalties, there's all the loyalty items that you can buy. Um, you can spend them. I saved all mine on Xbox. I think I have like eight or 9,000 at this point. I haven't bought anything. Um, but I would suggest either buying Blessing of Camisylvia for a day for 800 um, the Blackstones, uh, that's about it. Maybe an Alien's Tear. Alien's Tear is not bad either. Um, or saving up for an outfit. Uh, these aren't the greatest, but they are, you know, they're something. I don't think they're, like, super cool, but you know what? They get the job done. Next is we're going to hop into our mailbox here. You're going to want to claim your family fame fund. So you're going to have to be in a city in order to claim the family fame fund. But you're going to want to claim this. Uh, it looks like we're starting out with 300000 here over on the PlayStation. So that's really nice. It'll just add it to your inventory. Uh, and you're free to spend that whenever the heck you want. They also added the Central Market tab finally. So you can check on pre-orders. You can see we picked up the Ultimate Steed. So we're going to be able to use that in this episode. Thank God. Um... Also, you may be wondering, so they finally looks like they did patch in the ultimate packs so that we're able to claim those. I'll go ahead and claim it on this character. You can always transfer over the items between different profiles, which is really, really nice. So you're going to want to pop this open. It's going to give us the Snow Wolf Dog. It's going to give us some pearls. It's going to give us a value pack. Horse gear, tier 5. Bella Epaske wagon set. The cat. Signature Classic Box, um, Trainer's Flute, Permanent, which is really nice, um, Storage Made, Fairy Irene, Extra Combat XP Scrolls, Extra Skill XP Scrolls, and Extra Life XP Scrolls. So I'm going to pop those. The only thing I'm going to redeem on this profile is the Pearl Box, because it's shared between accounts, as well as the uh, Pets. So we're going to pop the Snow Wolf Dog, and we're going to name him... I want to say, I want to wait because there's a certain pet that we got to name Sif when it comes out on PlayStation. It'll be a little while, but to go with Artorias, we got we got to name it Sif. But if there's a later one that we will name Sif. Um, so I'm going to name this um, Farron. So in Dark Souls 3, there's the Farron Keep. Uh, and there is a, um, they worship the dog kind of like um, Sif. But it's kind of emaciated and it's up in a tower. Now we need to do the cat, and so I'm going to name this cat Meowmers, which is the name of the cat on Modern Storm 100 Worlds that I named. So yeah, that's what we're naming him. Okay, so register Meowmers. Okay, and so now we have three pets, which is good. It's not great. You want five. Now I don't know if on PlayStation you can have five yet, so I'm going to wait for confirmation before I buy any pets related to getting to a fifth pet but you can see we have 3,000 pearls the most important thing over cosmetics is to pick up one more pet and i'm gonna pick up the penguin just because i like the penguin so we're gonna pick up this penguin for a thousand pearls and i suggest if you have any pearls whatsoever this is what you pick up is the penguin and i'm gonna name my pay i named my one on xbox reginald so i'm gonna name this one reggie and so there we go. So we have four pets, which four pets will get the job done. You really want five, but four will get the job done for now because then you don't have, you can manually loot. You don't have to auto loot, which is wildly important because manually looting is literally the worst. And so that's the one aspect of the game that I would consider pay to win is the fact that you need pets really in order to farm and they're not very easily given away for free so eventually there's one added to the loyalty shop it's a kind of cowboy themed puppy and so that's kind of the one that you can you can grab so what you're going to want to do now is if you picked up the ultimate steed you can go ahead and put these two swords as well an elsh up onto the auction i'm going to go ahead and equip this so i can also deposit the steed 
I bet it's going to need repaired. Yeah, it's got to get repaired. So let's repair this first over here at the blacksmith. Usually there's a blacksmith somewhere fairly close to the central market. I'll show you one more helpful, useful tip here um, for auto-pathing. So we're going to throw that up. And then you can go ahead and list these free items that you got. You're going to get a little chunk of money. Obviously, you're going to pay a little bit of taxes on the items, which is fine. I usually tend to list my items for cheaper just to get them sold because, I don't know, I'm impatient and I want the money. So you go ahead and list those up. One nice thing you can do if you can't find a repair uh, blacksmith or anything like that, what you want to do is go to your world map here. You'll hit down on the D-pad and then you'll use L1 or R1 to select exactly where you want to go. So say we want to repair, we'll go over to the repair, hit right trigger, and then auto path. And it's going to take us an awkward route, but it's going to take us all the way around and to the blacksmith. So one final thing before we get into the actual nitty gritty of the episode is to... With the 2,000 remaining here, the, two, the things you want to keep an eye on and consider buying are value packs, sealed books of combat, weight limit increases. They're really important. I'm going to try to go without them in this, but yeah, weight limit increase is really important. There's a bunch of different ones that you can pick up. I suggest getting the 200 one first. Just get that one out of the way. Inventory expansion slots. Those are really nice. Regular slot expansions, the one that I would suggest is the character slot expansion. If you're going to make and test out every single character, you're going to run out of slots. Especially when they start releasing new characters. Um, and then the final thing, other than the outfits. But I don't really like the outfits that we have so far. I don't like Carlstein. It's kind of the steampunk, and I kind of like it because it goes with like uh, like a Bloodborne theme. If you made a Bloodborne theme character, but... I don't really like this Karsinov armor set. It looks nice, but not for the price. So I won't be picking it up. Uh, and then the one other thing here is... What is it under? Is it under skilled? Yeah. The Blessing of Combat Sylvia. Book of Combat and the Blessing. Those are the two kind of things that I would suggest to get. So let me get back over to where we're supposed to be and we can start the episode. All right, so we are back to continue the main story here. Uh, if you wanted some reference, we're at the Emma Bartali or, uh, quest up north of Velia. And so while I'm doing this, there's something I will talk about, since obviously this would be a part that I would normally fast forward through. I know there will be a temptation because we're getting this extra money along the way here uh, with doing these side quests to buy armor off the auction house, the central market. Right here, if you don't see her spawn in, it takes her a second, so just keep that in mind. But there will be a temptation to buy stuff off the auction. Don't do it. Just just don't do it. The only things you want to buy is plus 15 and higher, which is going to cost you a large sum of money, or you'll want to buy accessories. Don't buy armor. It's not worth it. Just don't do it. The only armors... Because you're going to get Lord's Armor, which is fairly decent armor set. It's not, like, the best, but it's a free armor set that's pretty darn good for being free. You're also going to get the Dim Magical Armor Chest Piece. These are all later on in the game, but early in the game you don't need them. So, it's really not that important. But you're going to get this stuff later on in the game, which is going to outclass a lot of the stuff that you're going to be able to buy on your own. Now, if you want to upgrade with Blackstones, that's fine. If you want to make a plus 8 or 9 weapon or something like that, I have no problem with that. But just don't go buying, like, plus 4, plus 8 weapons and, and armor and stuff. It's just not worth it. You're going to be able to get better stuff later on. This Ultimate Steed is good enough to compete with, like, plus 6s, I think. So... Yeah, I would just stick with the ultimate steed. Don't go crazy buying stuff. Save your money for a plus 15 weapon and sub weapon. You're going to get some other options along the way of different items that the game is just going to straight give you for free. Uh, I believe they give you a weapon that's 50 AP later on in the game, which is a nice upgrade over the ultimate steed or over something in the mid range. 
like a plus 12 weapon or a plus 11 weapon. There's integral upgrades, and I'll go over them when we get there, when, um, when you should probably look at doing upgrades. It's not necessarily a set path. It changes a little bit per character you're playing, but overall there's a general there's a general thought process behind what you should be doing, I guess is how I, I guess it's how I'll put it. There's a general thought process for me, I guess. I won't speak for everybody, but for me behind what I want to level up and when I want to level it up. But usually you can get by with the ultimate steed for a while. So we got ourselves some gloves here, so you're going to want to throw those on. We got ourselves a binder ring, which is accuracy, and a binder necklace, which is also accuracy. For some reason, they give you a second briar helmet. I don't know why, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom on ahead here, and uh, I'll jump back in in a few, few minutes with uh, a quest you're going to want to accept. Okay, we are back. So one quick thing, if you're having problems with the scroll of remembrance, you'll want to go into your inventory and use it. Um, it's not like some of the boss fights where there's a portal to use it. You'll have to go into your inventory and use it. From that, we're going to get the Agarian helmet, which you're going to want to equip over the Briar. It's going to give you one boost to the uh, to your defense. Agarian is actually what I use on my Sorceress. Uh, I have Tri Agarian, obviously, but is what I use on my Sork. Okay, so you're going to want to talk to Beetle here. He's going to complete that quest, and then you're going to have to summon your Black Spirit to fully complete it. You're going to get some Black Stones for this, which is really nice. And then you're going to want to talk to Beetle again. I don't know why they designed this quest like this. You go from, like, talking to Beetle to not talking about Beetle. This is the, ex this is the optional quest you're going to want to accept. Take revenge against those that wielded bows at Crown Castle, because they shot Beetle. And he's salty about it. Then you want to pull up your Black Spirit and uh, accept finding a way out. So you're going to pick up two quests here. The main quest, which is the secure and escape route. And then the one for dealing with the wielded uh, bows. So I'll show this because it's a little bit. You're going to want to make sure that you don't go past this. So you'll come up here. You're going to kill all the guys. You don't have to kill all the bow guys right now, but you can see the ultimate steed already going to work. Real Okay, can I hit this guy? Hello? Probably should have killed the scout first before this person runs up and kills my scout. Okay, what the connection? My attacks, like, aren't connecting. The one thing about getting too powerful of a weapon to start with, I know this sounds kind of dumb, but... It kind of gets you a little complacent with working on your combos and stuff. That's the only thing you got to remember is to continue to work on and practice your combos. Try to get as many of the scouts done as you can before you hit this point right here. So I'm going to kill this scout and this is going to get me my fourth scout killed. Might actually be able to complete this. Yeah, here's a scout right here. And there's the scout done. Okay, so now... You need to make sure to come over here. It's a little bit better. The Xbox was a bug was buggy for a little while. You need to come to talk to Beetle at this point. Don't continue to pro progress through. If you don't talk to Beetle here, you got to run all the way back, and that's just terrible. So now you need to kill three rookie soldiers and three senior soldiers. I don't know what this person is doing on their horse, but thanks, buddy, for bringing those guys to me. So, now you're going to go down here and you're going to clear out all the rookie and senior soldiers. I think I actually made it really easy because I think, yeah, there's a senior soldier over here. So, easy enough to clean all those out. I will leave that person for them. And now you just got to get out of here. Turning in both quests to Beetle, you'll turn them in back by Emma Bartali, which is very nice. 
And so I think at this point, we'll go ahead and fast forward all the way to Heidel Quarry, which I'll pop it up on the map in just a second and show you exactly where that is. I need a safe spot. These guys are just going to straight massacre me if I try to do it right here. So let's get on out of here. Just for reference, in case the speed up doesn't show you well enough where to go. So I'll come out here. There's also a scout right here. So if you're one short of a scout, there's a scout right here at the exit that you can kill. But let me get a little bit of distance here. Okay. And so now we're going to go to High Del Quarry. It's going to take you back to Velia, and then it's going to take you down here. You're going to want to go to High Del Quarry next. The main story will take it there, so just follow the main story, and I'll see you guys in a moment at High Del Quarry. Dream machine, racing queen. And we are here at High Del Quarry. So you're going to want to talk to Jemka's Wormbane here, and he's going to give you your quest for slaying the mine imps that have trespassed into the quarry. So you only need to kill 15, but this is the very first spot where I'm going to suggest you do just a minimal amount of farming. So we picked up a Garian armor and a Mary Goes shoes. And so this will get our DP up to 26. You're also going to want to use your inventory expansion slot. I'm going to move this here. And I'm actually going to equip the Agarian gloves. They're the exact same, but it will put three pieces of Agarian on us, which will give us the three set effect bonus, as well as the two set. Well, we have the two set right now, but it'll give us this item effect, which is plus one attack speed and casting speed. So this will give us a total of plus three to attack and casting speed. Obviously, we only care about the attacking speed, but we do have the three pieces of Agarian, so that is really nice. Completes our set. Well, there's four pieces of the set, but it gives us the attack speed, which is the important thing that I wanted. So, I'm not asking you to farm long here, or suggest... Not at... Well, I guess just suggesting. I'm not suggesting you farm here that long, but so the suggestion is that you kill 15 imps. I think you should probably double that number and kill 30. That, that's that's all I'm suggesting. Why is that guy running away? I really almost got... I'm like almost one-shotting stuff. So I'm going to come up here to a little bit, the little more crowded area. Kill these guys. So all I'm asking, and I'll show you guys. Oh my gosh, I can't aim. There's so many guys here. I'm going to get away from that person. All I'm doing is going to go up this hill. Which is easy enough, obviously. That person give up competing with me for kills yet. So you're going to want to kill all of these guys. The little guys give a little bit less, so they're not too important. But you're going to want to come all the way up to the top of the hill. You're going to come back here in just a second for the main story. But you want to come up here and slaughter everything that's here. And that's about all I'm asking you to do. Obviously, you can see we've already gotten our 15 kills. All I'm suggesting you do is take a little bit of effort here and slaughter everything. And so now I'm going to bring up Black Spirit, and he's going to give you the quest to reinforce the quarry, as well as this quest to talk with Black Spirit and receive an Antanas Firefly. Just go ahead and take that. Not too big of a quest. Oops. Go ahead and complete it there instead of doing what I did and accidentally backing out. 
So complete that, he's just going to give you an Antanas Butterfly. Something I usually do here is just make sure no one else is here. If someone else is here, I'll try to protect them while they're doing this because the imps will respawn. And it's a little annoying, I guess. A little bit. It's, it's just a little, little bit annoying. Nothing too big deal, but... I just try to watch the person, and then I'll go ahead and head out. And so now, going back down here, sometimes stuff will be respawned. Just go ahead and kill it. Just take the little bit of time that it requires to kill the bulk enemies here, because there's a lot of enemies. And a little bit of lag there. Go ahead and slaughter everything here. Just on your way back down. Not going out of your way, not taking extra time or anything like that. Just what's right in front of you. Slaughter all of them. And that's all I'm asking. That's, that's it. That's it. You kill those guys. You get a little bit of a percentage of XP towards 18. Should be able to hit 18 nice and soon. But I'm going to go ahead and speed up my way on through this. And I will see you guys. Just go ahead. We're going to do the main story quest all the way into High Dell. And then I'll go over some different stuff once we get uh, past the main story sections in High Dell where it's asking us to go to a plantation to deal with uh, some stuff for that. So I'll see you guys in a moment then. Alright, we are back here at Hydel, and there are two quests that you're going to want to pick up here. The first one is this one from the Golden Toad Inn owner, and it is Lara the Optimist. You're going to listen to the stories of the orphans, so pretty easy quest here. Go ahead and make it the active quest. And all you got to do is come out here to Lara and continue through this and there you go stories listened to experience acquired i'm gonna go ahead and take the xp potions now you can go ahead and take this quest as well the potion delivery deliver the potion box next to laura to siuda so what you're gonna want to do let's see here where is is this the pickup quest or did she give it to us no, where is the... Oh, here we go. I'm blind. Pick up one of these potion boxes. I was like... I was looking for the pickup items, but those look so organized. Usually they're just like slammed down next to the person randomly and you don't know. And it tells you to pick them up. But yeah, pick up one of these boxes. My, don't let my stupidity get in the way. Um, and you're going to want to take this all the way up the street here. I do have one more quest. Technically it's three quests, but you got to take that one first in order to get to this quest. And this is going to give you a gold bar, which obviously is perfect. You want as much money as possible. A plus 15 weapon is running... At this point, it's running at 16 mil-ish. So, obviously, the market fluctuates so it can go up. But you're going to want to put... Just put this down. Hold triangle, put it down, and then talk to her. And you'll be able to give her the potion. And complete the quest for one gold bar, which is beautiful. Go ahead and spend an energy to talk to her. Um, any chance you get to spend a point of energy to talk to someone, go ahead and do it. The next one is not a priority quest to undertake, but I suggest you do it. It's not that important, but it's going to give you an expansion slot. So you want to come over here to Blacksmith Tacton, or Tecton, and he's going to have you do a quest for him, and you're going to get one inventory expansion slot for it. So you're going to want to kill Wheatfield Lookouts and get their pickaxes. That'll be later on in the um, in the story. That's down here. Uh, I think it's... Yeah, I think it's right here. Actually, no, it's down here. Right down here. That's where you're going to go to complete that. I would just go ahead and hold off on doing that quest for now. You're going to come... You're going to be able to do that. And you're going to come back to High Dell at a future point anyway to turn that quest in to get the inventory expansion slot. So now we're going to head over to Zara Lynch's farm and undertake a couple of things here. I'm not going to cut it because there's a couple of things I want to talk about when we get over here in terms of side quests and such like that to accept. So I'm just going to run over here. 
Um, what I was looking at during the run to Hytel, if you guys noticed, I was in the menu system. I was looking at different... It was something they didn't give us on Xbox, I don't believe. It's, it's a pre-order bonus that the PlayStation got, which is a really nice pre-order bonus, I will say. My friends really hated... Um, I had a couple of friends who'd never played MMOs before give this game a try, and they really hated that they couldn't change how their character looked. Um, because the initial outfits for some of the initial six characters are really terrible. And I will show it here just in a second. Once we get here to Zara Lynch's farm. Climb on up here. Game, please don't freeze on me. It gave us a signature classic box. So it's going to give you the classic signature armor or outfit for each character. I'm not a huge fan of the Karsanov, I already said that, and I'm not a huge fan of the Ignis, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. You can't really sell it, no one's got the money to buy it, but it it's, a, it's something that you could buy. But, go ahead and talk to Zara Lynch here, complete this quest, and you're going to get two new quests. Why is this happening? Main quest and Imp Food Wagon, you can see that's some really good um, rewards for that quest. I guess you can go ahead and talk to her and then you're gonna want to come right here head up these stairs and you're gonna find another side quest here with the soldier right up here missing investigators you need to rescue the investigators from the wizard's altar um, this one is fairly easy to complete you just need to so I'll go ahead and set it as my main one so I can show you exactly where you need to go for this one You'll need to come over here to the altar, but you're going to come there later on. I'll bring it back up when we head over there. Um, you're going to head there before we get to the boss. And so not too big of a deal. You'll get uh, you'll get to complete that in no time. So I'll bring that back up later on when we're over there for that quest. Now I'm going to go ahead and fast forward until we get to that point. Uh, shouldn't take me too long, but I'll see you guys in just a moment uh, over there so I can talk about that. There we go. Okay, so hold on. Hold on. This quest wasn't popping up. It pops up now. You also want to accept this one. It's just sw Slay, Ultra Imp, and Ultra Imp Warriors. Not a great reward, but it's really easy. You're going to do it anyway, so go ahead and accept this quest. I was wondering where this quest was, but uh, yeah, there it was. So I will see you guys in a moment. Right, here we are at the wizard's altar viewpoint you're going to want to complete this quest here black spirit's going to pop up and tell you to go to the top of the wizard's altar so you're going to want to come up here and a little tip just to save you a little time and avoid that ladder walk up the slant right here jump up here and you're good saves you a little bit of time because who doesn't like a little bit of a time saver because the ladders in this game are kind of atrocious. So here is a captured investigator. You only need to let one free to complete the quest. So there's one. There's an option there. There's one right here that you can free. Break that one there. Or I'll show you where the last one is just in case you want to do it. Climb over this right here. Jump on down. And here he is. Slash that cage open for the good, the good fellow. And then hope you can make this jump back. And I didn't make the jump back. 
Okay. Well, now we gotta climb back up to the top, but those are the captured investigators that you can free. You only need to free one, like I said, but if you wanna clear all three of them, go for it. Don't think it gives you anything special as a reward, but you can do it. Oh, look, he's back here. Look, there you go. There's one of the ones that you can kill to complete the quest. Okay, so let's continue up to the top. Probably, yeah, no, we'll make one more cut here. But uh, Black Dragon Statue, talk to this. This will complete this and start a cutscene. Pretty cool cutscene with the Black Spirit. But now you're going to want to summon out the Black Spirit and complete this. And now we are going to get to the boss, Dastard Beg. So I'm going to get ourselves over there to that boss fight, and I'll see you guys in a hot second. Alright, here we go. Dastard beg time. I have a couple of minimal tips for this, but we'll go ahead and live fight it, because why the heck not? Let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully not get destroyed too hard by Dastard Beg. You can see he has kind of a, a kunai that he can throw. A kunai on a chain. Am I not hitting him back here? At a later stage, he will go ahead and throw it more. And it could become a bit of a nightmare. Right here. This attack right here. That's one of the few attacks that he has that just is an absolute nightmare. I have not fought him yet, so I don't have any knowledge based on how much damage I'm doing. So that's like, that's the one issue that we have right now is we have no idea how much damage we've done to him. Go. Grab that. Slam that. And he's going to switch to his second form there. Heal, 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 heal. Get up. There's a red circle that pops up, and it's much easier to notice against um, when you're using, like, a caster or the ranger. Even the sorceress, it gives a good, uh, it, it, you're backed up enough from time to time to get a notice on it. It's a little harder with the warrior, but go ahead and complete that. It's going to give you this permanent token, recover Zara Lynch's wedding ring in the ruins. Black Spirit quest, and then it's also going to give you this, the biggest trouble in the north. I'm not going to do this, but you can if you want to. It's a quest to just kill altar imps, so if you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that. It's also going to give you a free steed weapon here. That's what we had before we got the ultimate steed, but obviously we want the ultimate steed. It's much better, so you can go ahead and sell this on the marketplace for 25000 Let's see if mine even sold for MC. Uh, no, it's the only thing that hasn't sold yet. But you can post it up there, hope it sells. But I'll see you guys in a moment back at uh, Zara Lynch. We'll complete the getting her wedding ring and then we head back to her. So I'll see you guys when we get back to her. Alright everyone, let's wrap up this episode. We are back at Zara Lynch now, and we have all of these quests to turn in. So there's the two there, which we'll turn those in last. And we have this one up here. Let me put my sword away. And we can talk to the soldier to gain our rewards from up here. Gold bar and some experience, as well as some free potions, which saves you money. So that's always nice. And then we have these quests out here. So let's go ahead and talk to this soldier. We're going to get some bread and some experience. It's whatever, but it's free, and you're going to complete it anyway. So, you know, not too bad. Then you got the Imp Food Wagon, which you can see great rewards from this. One of the best rewards that we got here. And 20 potions, which is amazing. And then you're going to get the main story quest completed, and now paying off debts. So now we need to head back to Bobby Lauren and start that. But I think that's something for the next episode that we'll start out then. Um... She has us pay back Bobby Lauren, essentially. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Let me know what you guys thought, any changes you want to see or anything like that. This episode was a little bit slower. There was a lot more things I needed to talk about in this episode. And so a little less 
a little less progress in this episode than the first one, but we still made some pretty good progress. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.